Okay, guys. So <clears throat> we were all waiting for new Klupa song, yeah. Today they announced it like uh, something like oh, actually one day, one day before it was published. So it was released exactly two hours and forty minutes ago. Um, so what should I say? Uh, we all waited for Klupa for his peace and love, right? So um, we remember that when Miku was asked uh, what is going, what bandmate is going to do with the world domination that they will achieve, uh, she said that uh, bandmate can conquer the world, but it cannot save the world. And a couple of years later, she created her own project, uh, Kurupo. So it's uh, spelled Klupo, but it's uh, pronounced Kurupo. So it's her signature thing. Yeah, Kurupo is the sound which pigeons make in Japanese. And uh, she obviously wanted to augment what Bentmate is doing. So to do something which Bentmate cannot do. Uh, Bentmate basically reflects the world, right? And then Miku is the type of uh, human being which wants to change the world as well. Of course, she changes the world a lot in Bandmate. It's a wonderful vehicle, wonderful instrument for her to express the ideas she makes. But Bandmate is actually, although she's a creator of Bandmate, she's not so much, uh, she's not the Bandmate, as we would say it, yeah. I would I would even say that Bandmate is more like Konami's tool, you know, than actually Miku's tool. So Miku's sort of uh, serving there, uh, providing lyrics and uh, support vocals and support guitar. She's doing it wonderfully, but nevertheless, it's I would say it's more like for Konami to express herself and also for all the other members. So, what is Kurupo then? What is Klupo? Uh, today she released that song. Um, I listened to it already two times. Uh, so when there was a premiere and uh, then I listened to it immediately after. And um, let's do a, a deep analysis of it. I will speak about it. I will, I will say right now. <laughs> so... I was thinking like uh, even before that whole thing started, I was typing in the comments and uh, there was Gary Holloway and we had discussion with him, like exchanging jokes. And then I actually thought I so much hope, like I said, when I prophesied that Klupo will release now that song about peace and love and Russia will not invade Ukraine. So there will be no war. I said, I sense the power. I sense the power of Klupo, of uh, peace for the world. But it turned out that Miku decided to, not decided, I would say, the hand of providence made Miku release a song which is not about peace. It's about war. I'll explain why I have this. But when I heard it, I was like, wow, this song is, is rather heavy. It's not like rock. It's not rock. I would say it's like electronic, electronic, uh, but it's not pop as well. I would not call it pop. Maybe like even rap or something. So as usual, yeah, the um, the style is questionable, to say the least. Where do you? Where does it belong? I don't know. But whatever, it just doesn't matter. But it's the song about war. That's what I feel. So. Having made this statement already, let's listen to this song and analyze it. So I will listen to it the whole way through and then we'll watch it slowly with the lyrics to understand what she's talking about. She has a lot of meaning there. She even tweeted about it. She said, there's a lot of meaning in this song and you should strive to understand it. So let's go. <laughs> Don't stop, Leon, say peace and love Small scale, big chance, time will 
I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm blown away. So, Miku released a song about war. Ready, ban, ban. Ban, ban, enchanted. So, I'm like, I'm like, damn. And then we ha- hear this news that Russia is, is invading Ukraine. Like Putin said to the armed forces, yes, we will invade Ukraine. It's decided. So, let's go over the lyrics here slowly. Uh, the way how I'll do it this way, I'll just make it very slow and we'll talk about it. So, let's talk about it. I I will... Uh, I'll just talk over it so I don't uh, I muted it yeah we don't have any sound so don't stop music peace and love she starts with actually peace and love right then uh, uh, it's funny actually that they have uh, the hard subs in uh, in original yeah and then English translation small scale big chance there is a lot of poetic stuff there so I I can't really say like small scale big chance small scale war big chance for for the world we know that it's uh what it's called the balance of um uh crisis and victory yeah it's what it's called in baha'i faith so people uh by their stupid acts they bring uh some crisis they bring in some crisis but this crisis in the end leads to some development because people start to think, you know, because they did something stupid and we're like, ah, we were so stupid. Let's, uh, 
um, fix it. Yeah. So like they create first world war. Ah, what did we do? 60 million people suffered, you know, like 10 million dead and uh, 60, 70 million or something are with their lungs damaged by chlorine and gases and everything. It, all mutilated people and so on. So let's stop it, they said somehow. So they created League of Nations. Uh, but they were like, uh, you know, lukewarm about that. So they, they didn't go with a full heart into this League of Nations. They didn't have any power. So the Second World War. Okay, Second World War, even more terrible than the first one. Even more people died, like, I don't know, 30 million. How many people died? 50 million. Then they said, oh, it was terrible. Let's create United Nations. So they created United Nations. The United Nations is also like it helped. So there were no more big war since then already for 75 years, 77, right? But then also United Nations just doesn't help. When something terrible happens, United Nations is just somewhere. Nobody nobody sees it anywhere it's invisible so the nations themselves like united states and europe not nato they try to fix the situation somehow but they also don't want to start like full-fledged nuclear war so they also don't interfere and stuff like that so obviously we need some other disaster for humans to again start to think you know and to create something more powerful as a means of uh, security you know of like finally we have to to do something with the all the dictators you know the people who kill their own uh people in the countries you know and stuff like that so we have climate crisis we have like again these nuclear arsenals we have a lot of problems in the world which uh mainly due to the fact that we're still um divided right so um People like Miku Kobato, they of course know this all. They they very sensitive, but also Miku doesn't uh, go deeply into that like directly because okay they try to do this the dragon cries yeah with all this imagery. I just recently saw it. I understood guys what the dragon cries is for, not what it's all about. I knew it before. Everybody knows it of course what it's all about, but what it's for. That's not the song for your happy state of mind. The dragon cries is when you're really down, when you're really, you know, just in in ruins. When when the world is really collapsing around you, then you see this musical video for the dragon cries in the sea. Yes, that's that's what we have to think about, and that's what then we have to do something about it. Like. Uh, you know, that was such a terrible video they created. How could Ben May do this? So all these Wayne people, you know, like, how could Ben May do this? It's all stupid. You know, they went political. Oh, come on. If you are not interested in politics, then politics becomes interested in you, right? Well, I, I don't share this idea. Like, we have to... What do we do with all this? Basically, only realization. Sorry, I was going too far. And it's only seven seconds of the song. Okay, let's just continue as it is. Time will show, guys. Time will show. We say it simply can't be done. Ah, we powerless. So we sort of put our hands down and say nothing can be done. But then she says, let's swipe it. Like, swipe it. Open your eyes. Listen up. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Listen up. Fake it till you make it. It's isn't it a wonderful slogan? Fake it till you make it. It's uh, how the change is brought about. You just do it. Okay, we are bad people. Let's pretend we're good people, right? Let's fake it. Let's fake that we are good people. Let's fake it until we make it. Damn it! I love actually this imagery which uh, she produced. Like she's sitting in that room, talking to us. Just an empty antithesis. And there's a lot of poetry. Like I'm like, what is this question marks answered? It's like you see in Japanese question question mark no answer. So question marks are answered, but only after it's over. Think and feel. So it's it's very interesting actually that she says. Uh, 
uh, but only after it's over. So the questions are answered again, as I said about like Second World War in the United Nations. So we we fucked up already, and then we start suddenly start to like ah, it's already happened, it's all over. Now we start to think and feel. So it will hurt someone else. Very, very deep phrases, like they d disjointed, I would say, they disconnected. Uh, what, even, I don't understand many things. English is not my native language. So what is flaming? What is flaming? Ta-da-ta. Troll face. I was actually like, troll face. It's like the sign of the age, yeah? Troll face. So people are stupid, and they stupid on purpose. They play stupid, they play trolls, they go around and spread all the negativity, right? So why do they do this? Why people love to be ugly? Why they love trolls? For I'm like, that, that's the thing actually that, that's, uh, you know, why all these terrible things happen? Because people are, you know, they, they think that being a troll somehow makes them better people. Because everybody wants to be a good person, right? Everybody thinks I am a good person, right? I am a good person, of course. Everybody else around me are stupid or they don't understand. I, I am the best person in the world. Right? Everybody thinks that. So, and then this person goes around insulting everybody, making these troll faces, you know, and uh, saying stupid things on purpose, even knowing that it's all, it's all bullshit, right? They still say it. Why? Why? It's a mystery for me. And it's a mystery for Miko as well, obviously. Troll face. What's so funny? What's so funny? Like, damn you, <laughs> you, Mr. Troll. What's so funny? Why are you spreading all this negativity and saying all bad things to the people, insulting them, calling them whatever, and having fun about it? Damn. It's all crazy. It's all crazy. We live in a crazy world. What's so funny? I don't understand, Miko, what's so funny. Ah, go. Even if it doesn't work out. Yeah, just go. Even does. That's like the, the deepest thing, which I always like. That's why I say Miko is my role model. She sort of, she projects it, it seems very simple idea like she will talk about this later that it seems so simple yet so difficult that just uh there was this wonderful quote from uh winston churchill he said if you go through hell keep going also this uh, famous motto from the second world war from uh uk come come down and carry on keep calm and carry on Keep calm and carry on. I think that was the motto, right? So it's the same thing. It's so simple. Yeah, that's what like that's what I need. You know, I always need somebody to to bring me back to my sanity and say, just go, go. If it, even if it doesn't work out, because I'm like, I'm always like going to um, despair all the time. I'm doing something, and uh, we talked the other day in the comments with some other maniacs. Uh, again, Tom Clark, I think, that, I um, don't ah, know, somewhere on Facebook, somewhere on Facebook, I guess. So, like, it seems quite often that we cannot really change anything in the world for better. That it's all useless. You just live day after day doing all your work routine, you know, you go to to job every day, you make money just to survive, to buy some food, to support your family, to, to do all these things. And in the end, it's like, it seems like people are only getting worse and worse. You know, they say stupid things, they do stupid deeds, they destroy things around them. And you feel there like, what am I living for? So that's what Miku says, go, go, even, even if it doesn't work out. Just, if you go through hell, keep going. Just wait a moment. Don't judge me. She actually, interesting, she says this, like, uh, don't judge me. So I was thinking maybe it's like something about 
uh, personal relationships. Like it could be about like uh, she's in love with a certain person. We know that she doesn't write about herself, but it's like an image which she draws from manga, from anime, whatever. So she can say that um, just wait a moment, don't judge me. Yeah. So don't make a decision in haste, like because people often think that that person I'm listening to said something. They make instantaneous judgment about this, which like in 95% of cases is absolutely wrong. So think about think about it and just wait a moment. Don't judge me. Make uh take your time to think about it. So it's... Miko, I love you. Go, go, go. No, don't stop. Yeah, there's a lot of these very interesting things which go very well with music, right? We, we we heard the music. It's very heavy, actually. That's what I said. It's quite heavy. It's not like her flappy wings stuff of uh, last year. Don't judge too soon. Again, this message here. Yeah, don't judge too soon. Just uh, take your time to think. Why are you in such a haste? Why are you saying the words which you didn't meditate upon before? so stupid so many men so many minds she actually repeats this phrase uh, quite a few times so many men so many minds it's like also I'm like when when i saw it it's like miko you you one of the deepest philosophers of our time you know even simple things you say they're so deep so many men so many minds yeah, people all have different minds and that should not be a cause for conflict for disunity that as Baha'i said like uh, it should be like flowers in one garden all flowers have different color different shape different size but that's what makes the garden beautiful there are trees and bushes and flowers they all different but they create beauty because of that if there would be just um i don't know a crop of the same flowers yeah it's very monotonous yeah it's not a garden it's a a field a crop field right so many men so many minds it's just these simple realizations which we all should go through mm, ben ben enchanted this is like also like damn she's she's actually speaking about war which is coming ready ben ben i ready people yeah start the war klupo kurupo she's sitting in the dark room pogo i still don't understand what pogo is so people were <sighs> this is how it has to be just a common refrain this is how it has to be just a common refrain it's it's a very, also very deep phrase yeah which says like again for for any baha'i it's like that's they say uh, baha'i says it's the main truth which we must realize in this world the main thing everything which happens is uh done by god so god created it so he has a plan for everything jesus was saying the same thing actually he said no hair will fall from your head without god's leave so this is how it has to be just a common refrain so people start to run around and say oh, terrible thing happened you know that's something which absolutely wrong this could never be this should have never happened and stuff like that no it's like even if something terrible happens like war like as i said yeah second world war so many million people died but that was needed it was needed for people to wake up so just such a common refrain just repeat it over and over guilty not guilty who is it who's guilty who's not guilty that's actually um i'm watching now this uh, anime rewatching it asura crying i was i was writing about it on facebook recently live journal uh, my blog has reminded me that 12 years ago i i watched this anime it was 2010 i only started to watch animes and asura crying was like i don't know third fourth it, by the way it has uh wonderful music it just 
I sincerely recommend this anime, Asura Crying. And uh, the music is by Angela. So it's a do it. Uh, it's not, they, they're not both thinking. It's um, a man and a woman, uh, Atsuki and Katsu, I think their names. So, but Atsuki, Atsuki, I think, yeah. She's got such an amazing voice, like really great. So that was my introduction actually to music, uh, to Japanese music as well. Okay, so I watched it. And again, again, this idea, like, don't judge in haste because you see you see the plot you think ah this is the villain this is the main bad guy so he's like killing people you know trying to like sacrifice thousands of people and everything but then the the plot unfolds and yes then no this guy is not bad at all he has all the best in intentions he knows what will happen he says Ah, anyway, the world will die in 631 days from now. So he knows something about this world. And he wants to change something. Uh, he wants to change something in this world so that the world doesn't die. Or actually, according to that plot, he actually just wants to sort of save his uh, dear ones. Not really the world, because uh, he was like, ah, okay. Um, his intention is not clear, but n anyway. In the end, you come to love that person and everybody com like comes to understand him. You understand why he did so. So it's like guilty, not guilty. Just remember that. Don't judge lest ye be judged yourself. Again, if we recall what Jesus said, yeah? Guilty, not guilty. Who is it? Don't be so stupid, yeah? Don't say that somebody is guilty look the other way it's not my concern <laughs> yes <laughs> it's like the main that's what a psychotherapist would tell you i remember i complained about it i was like i was so fed up with all the crazy people around me like my colleagues you know saying that yes ukraine are all uh, nazis so russia has to go to ukraine and kill all ukrainians because they're all bad people I was like, damn, why am I, why am I in this world? Just uh, please stop this planet. I want to alight at the next stop. And then I complained. I remember I complained to somebody. And then people said, but why do you listen to these people? Like, are you crazy? You, you poison your own soul by just listening to them. Why do you listen to these stupid people? You already recognized, right, that they're stupid, that they're absolutely crazy that they have no mind of their own. They just listen to propaganda and they mindlessly repeat it like parrots. I said, yeah, I understand this very well. So why do you listen to them? I said, because they're my colleagues, you know, I just can't see them shut up and stuff. They said, but that's the only solution. So if they ask you a question about your job, about something, about like um, atmospheric distillation of crude oil or something, then you may talk to them, right? If they ask you about chromatography or mass spectrometry or whatever which you know, then answer them. If not, just look the other way. It's not my concern. I, like, guys, it's not my business what you think about Mr. Putin and killing all the Ukrainians. It's not my, just my concern. I, I really don't want to talk about this. It's such a wise counsel. Nothing but size, such a pain. Nothing but size, such a pain. What is flaming? What is flaming? She means something. Yeah, she says this in English. I, I, I don't know. Troll face. Again, uh, the chorus, yeah? The chorus goes on. Troll face. The voice came close and close. Very beautiful uh, poetic imagery as well. The voice came closer and closer. Something is getting closer and closer. Miko is so beautiful here, right? One, two, three. Tell me what makes you happy. Scroll. Especially very, I was like thinking, why, why scroll, scroll? But it's like, uh, yeah, it's what we do on our phones, right? So we like uh, usually the the interface is like uh, you you scroll it, right? So maybe that's what she like, like uh, the image of something passing. Yeah. Tell me what makes you happy. Like if people come to me and start to to speak about something what do i want what do i need to know 
we are here in this world to make each other happy, right? So I ask person, what makes you? Tell me what makes you happy. One, two, three. What makes you happy? Sensei, this thing makes me happy. Okay. And then scroll, yeah, just scroll. Life goes on. Go further. Such a beautiful image. Yeah, she's uh, sitting in a dark room talking and then it's very beautiful. A new entry, new update makes your heart flutter. A new entry, new update makes your heart flutter. Yeah, also new things in life here yeah, which bring you encouragement. Such a wonderful thing. Here, a music gift just for you. And she says, let's uh, clip us uh, heart. You know how to make it, yeah? Clip us heart. Doki doki. Music gift just for you. Thank you, Miko. Thank you for your wonderful music gift just for me. Just for all of us. We needed this gift in these difficult times. Hope you like it. Yes, we do like it. Shall we smile? Yes, we should. We should smile. Everybody cheese. Thanks, Miko. <laughs> it's so simple, but so difficult. It's so simple. Uh, you see this on the screen? It's so simple. And then she says, it's so di but so difficult. But so difficult. Yes, just smile, make everybody happy. Ask people what makes them happy. And do this, make them happy. And just smile. Go until it works out. Go until it works out. Just do it until it works out. That's the advice we needed in this time of war, really. Just do what you have to do, just a bit more further forward. Just make one more step, as she says. Go, go, go. Don't stop. Yeah, just don't stop. Yeah, I understand now, actually. I understand now what she says with these lyrics. Just, uh, yeah, persevere. That's that's her, uh, her motto. Don't judge too soon again, she says. Yeah, don't, don't be hasty. Meditate upon things. So many men, so many minds. Realize that, please, that so many men, so many minds. Ban, ban, enchanted. It's like goes out of nowhere, this band, band, enchanted and already band, band. For me, it's like really, Miko, you, you, you wrote this song. You wrote this song, Kabata san, a few months ago, probably. Then you produced this music video, so it took also like a couple of months or something, I bet. And you speak about the war, which is going to happen right now. That's amazing. You prophet, Miko. You are the prophet. Also very beautiful. Yeah, these umbrellas which are lit from beneath with all the different colors. It's very beautiful. There's some dark something. Ah, that is very funny. Actually, sweet and sour what to, to make of it all. Yeah, sweet and sour what to make of it all make something positive it's so interesting yeah that she's jumping on that i i forgot the name of this thing uh it, it doesn't even steal the way out hidden in the maze yes steal the way out hidden in the maze she's jumping outside on that uh, stick with a spring there is no name for it even in russian i don't remember there should be some brand name of the company which invented it I, I was trying to jump on it when I was a child, but I was never uh, quick enough, agile enough to, to handle it. I was like, I was able to, to jump maybe one time and then I would fall off. Still the way out hidden in the maze. Yes. Yes. We still don't know where we're going. Is this all that life has to offer? Again, I was already talking about it. She, she again looks at this uh, from this angle at life. Like life is full of such stupidity things, you know, and, and she says, just slow down, cool down. Slow down, cool down. <laughs> so beautiful. There's meaning even in futility. That's what 
again, again, she just repeats this all, which I, I said before. Again, the war happens, like Second World War, 50 million dead or something. Futility, right? It seems like it was all futile. That just we had terrible war, a lot of people died, a lot of suffering, economies in ruins, countries are destroyed. It all seems futile, right? No, but she says there is a meaning in it because we're still learning from it. We need the mighty kick to do something constructive, to do something positive. Miko is just amazing just amazing this is a very prophetic song and very wise you know so it's okay yeah it's okay so whatever happens it's okay it should be what she says a soothing refrain calming refrain let's sing in with you so it's such a funny english here. let's sing it with you the proper one would be uh let's sing together yeah, but then she she invented this phrase. She basically translated the Japanese phrase directly. Let's sing in with you. It's like uh, I, I don't know Japanese at such a level to construct this thing, but it will be like Utao mm, Minasan Utao something. No, I, I don't I don't know these uh, phrases yet in. In Japanese. Let's sing in with you. Whew. Such a beautiful gesture. Let's sing in with you. Yes, let's sing in together. Are you enjoy? <laughs> let's sing in with you. She's sitting in that very beautiful dark room. Yeah, you see these peace signs. These peace signs there at the back. So she, yeah, we in a war, but we need peace. Also, this fake it till you make it, yeah. Fake it till you make it. Make it go. Peace. Peace. It's gonna go fine. I'm here for you. It's also, you know, they care so much about the fans. Like she, she addresses like, I'm here, Miku, for you. I'm, I came here to listen to what you, what you're going to say. I was waiting for it. Like, I'm in trouble. I'm like, I have, my mind is in trouble. I, I don't know what, what uh, tomorrow will bring. Yeah. But she released this song specifically like yeah for all of us fans it's gonna go fine just to s to tell us that it's gonna go fine i'm here for you so as they say in uh, about us that even in this faraway corner of the world what 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 was psyche singing i'm 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 thinking my thoughts or something like this in this faraway corner of the world but they still send send us the love and beauty you know and just show us that the beauty that's what you have to create in the world it's so interesting yeah like she's sitting in the night and then the moon appears so probably it's um the same thing about like no night lasts no night lasts forever yes they seen in uh, uh catharsis no night lasts forever she's really so beautiful here what's that mansion i wonder is some sort of temple or something they're filming things in, in uh, temples i i bet it looks to me like a temple go what did she say? Sorry, go even if it doesn't work out. I ah, again this uh, chorus. Wait, just wait a moment. Don't judge me. So all this idea of like calm down, meditate, think deeply. Don't be in haste, but also don't stop. Go, go, go. No, no, don't stop. What is pogo means? Like people were like po, go. 
<laughs> so is it like go? <laughs> go, Po. <laughs> po, go. Don't judge too soon. So many men, so many minds. Ban, ban, enchanted. Like I'm really man with different minds. That's amazing what she what she says. Yeah, ready, ban, ban. Yes, yeah, some some soldiers are ready to go to the fight. Ban, ban, enchanted. Enchanted. They like enchanted by. Enchanted by. Ah, it even seems to me like you know, we may say that. Um, remember, as um, Black Sabbath was singing about these war peaks, yeah. What was yours? Ah, uh, it was actually Bill Ward, yeah, who composed it. So what Black Sabbath is saying is that uh, generals gathered in the masses, just like black witches at the masses. Yeah, so evil minds that plot destruction, so sorcerers of death construction. So yes, they are evil, evil minds, sorcerers, and black witches, which thinking about destroying the world. May they all be damned. It's amazing how the the rock, the music has resurrected with a new mission in the words of uh, people like uh, like Miku. Of course she's not alone like this. A lot of musicians actually realize that they they can change the world. Their words change the world and they try to change the world with their words, with their music. Also like all the uh, people who play instruments, they also speak. That's what I was al always telling also that I was always thinking this, that when Konami plays guitar, when Misa plays bass, when Akana plays drums, when Saiki sings, her, her voice is also like an instrument, yeah? It's the end of it, I think, yeah, Pogo. It's also, yeah, they, they convey something. Shut up, Konami is speaking. So, guys, that was it. I spoke for, again, 42 minutes, damn. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments below. Uh, what do you think about this? I wonder if actually we're actually going into the world. I will be so happy to be wrong. You know, it's like what everybody says now in, in Russia, all the political analysts, like it seems we're going to war, but I will be so happy to be wrong. Like if tomorrow all Russian forces just disappear and go back to their positions to the Far East, you know, to Siberia, where they used to be before. And people would tell me, Vladimir, you know, you were crazy. You were thinking the war will start tomorrow, but you were wrong. I will say, God be blessed. I was wrong. <laughs> Thank God I was wrong. <laughs> so I hope to be wrong. Peace.